Hey, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Mr. Coffee Espresso machine to make the best espresso, specifically the Mr. Coffee Espresso and Cappuccino Maker Cafe Barista. I'll have the links in the description for the machine and the ground espresso I'm using. Okay, first we're going to make a double shot of espresso, so I'll grab the double shot filter. Uh, next, I'll add the pre-ground espresso. This is the Supreme by Bustello Espresso Style Ground Coffee. Again, the link to this is in the description if you want to try it. I believe they also have it at Kroger stores, King Supers, City Market, um, probably a lot of places. Uh, so the, uh, the scoop that I'm going to use is a one tablespoon uh, scoop. And um, you know, the one thing I, I just always try and use an even scoop and don't overload it with coffee. I find that if you put too much ground espresso in the filter, you won't get that velvety thick crema or foam on top. So once I have the coffee added to the filter, I tap the bottom a few times to even it out and then I lightly, and that's the key with this espresso maker, as well as other espresso makers that are uh, under $200, uh, to, to make sure that you lightly tamp the espresso in the filter. Uh, if you tamp it too hard, you get lesser and sometimes bitter espresso with low to no crema. So just make sure you, you uh, really lightly tamp that down. I'll add the filter to the porta filter and lock it in the espresso machine. Um, once I have that locked in and make sure you have it locked all the way over, I'll move my Dimitas tray over and put my Dimitas in, in position. Um, this is when you should add your sugar if you like sweet espresso so it can start dissolving right away. Uh, I've already turned the espresso maker on so we're good to go. Press the espresso button twice for a double shot of espresso. And we should have a really nice creamy espresso coming out. This usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds. And you can already see that we're getting a nice crema on top. And there you go.